Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video. Uh, in this today's video, we have an HP Elite Book Folio 9480M model. And in this video, I'm gonna go over how you can open it up and how you can replace the keyboard. If you have a keyboard, you drop some little bit of liquid and it's not, some keys are not working and or you just wanna replace it because you want a brand new keyboard. I'll leave the keyboard link on the video description in case you wanna purchase. And in this video, I'm gonna show you the process how to open it up how you can remove it it's really easy you can do this at home with no problem and i'm going to go over the tools that i'll be using tool number one and the most important one is a screwdriver set i'll be using an iFixit screwdriver set and from this tool set we're going to be using a phillips number one if you get the pro set they will include you with an opening tools and some tweezers if not just grab the simple set and for the opening tool, I'll be using a guitar pick. A metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and cover. With this tool on hand, we're going to get it started. First thing first, power off the laptop, flip it upside down, remove the battery by removing this trigger to the left. Slide the battery towards yourself as much as you can. And then lift it up, bring it up, flip it over. Put it that way. Next, we need to remove the side cover. By loosening up these two screws, the screws have a C-lock on them. So we might just have to do a few turns. And the little spring that they have on it will bring them up so you can uh, pull the cover to the left by about four millimeters and then lift it up. Next, we need to remove this cover right here by loosening up this screw right here, this screw right over here, this screw right in the middle, and this screw right inside on the left side, this one right here, and the one on the cover. Once we remove this one, we're going to lift it up from the front end, bring it upward so we can release the hinges. Now down here, we need to loosen up this screw right here. This screw right in the middle. This screw by the battery. And this screw right by the ramp. So there's one, two, three, four screws you need to loosen up. Once you loosen up this one, you want to open up the laptop. Now you want to grab your opening tool. You want to stick it on the, between the keyboard and the top cover right here, right there. And you want to flip it towards the screen like this. And once you see it's opening, you want to work yourself the same way that you're doing it. Every one centimeters or every whatever centimeter you want, you want to move it like that. And then you see the little opening, I'll put my finger right underneath and I'm going to keep doing it to the left all the way to the other side. Now I'm going to lift it up and it's going to loosen up the bottom side. Bring it up this way, flip it this way so you can see the, the nipple trackpad and the keyboard flex and the backlight. To remove them, you need a curved tweezer. I'm not going to do it with my finger, it's really hard to get there. You want to lift up this black lock 90 degree upward like that and then you want to slide back the flex cable same thing for here this black cable 90 black flex black cover 90 degree and pull up the flex cable backward same thing for the nipple one here just lift it up and pull back the flex cable and that's how you remove the keyboard the model for the keyboard is right on the back it says model 6976-85-161 so this model, it is a Spanish keyboard, so you can get an English keyboard. Your English keyboard should have a little different, but I'll leave the link for a different type of keyboard. You can purchase yours. Let's say that you got the new keyboard in. You want to set it down this position. First thing first, you want to put the keyboard, the flex cable. This flex cable have a little uh, side notches right in here. You can see the tiny notch right there, one right here. So pretty much you want to open up the lock and you want to put it down in 45 degree inside the jack. It has to go 45 degree inside so those notches they have to be inside the jack. Once you see the notches right in there all the way in you want to lock it down so that way it won't come up. You want to open up the lock for the backlight and slide the flex cable right in there and lock it down. Grab this one right here. If you want to deactivate this one, just put a tape over it and do not install it. So that's it. But if you want to install it, just grab it, bring it up, 
make sure the pins exposed pins are to face down you just want to grab it this way and push it towards the in there and then lock it down once you have it in this position all you need to do is just flip it over like that and put the bottom of the keyboard in there once you put the bottom side in there you want to grab that from the side for i'll grab put my finger right here so i can hold it so it doesn't go down so i get kind of curvature put the sides down make sure it clicks in even the one at the back here has to click in if it is not going it's not clicking you can help it out with the guitar pick just first put the side in once you have this side in put this other side now to put the top side i'll put push it down with my guitar pick right there and it goes really soft and easy with no issue so pretty much find those clips and push them you see this one is not going in no matter how much i pay is it really hard so i'm gonna do it with a guitar pick it goes all the way down and clicks it and there we have it on the side too same thing push it down and there we have it once you have that keyboard right in there you want to flip it over this one has a little adhesive it's not sticking right there but yeah so you want to tighten up the screws for the keyboard right here the one that you loosen up remember there are four of them There we have it. Once you tighten it up, grab the bottom cover, the back one, put align it, make sure these tiny hinges are aligned and bring it over and close it down. And tighten up the screws in here. Next, you want to grab the side panel. Put it in an offset position and then slide it inward and tighten up the screws. And this is how you remove your keyboard for your HP EliteBook Folio 9480 laptop. If you guys have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, don't forget to click that like and subscribe to support the channel. And this is how it's done. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you guys in my next video.